How to start your real estate business with other people's money. Have you ever wondered how can you start making money in real estate, building profits and building your personal wealth, but you don't have any money to do it with? Well, I'm going to share with you exactly how I've been able to build a portfolio worth millions of dollars, never using any of my own money because I didn't have any when I started and how I have now turned that into a multi-million dollar real estate empire. I'm going to show you exactly how I did it so you can do the exact same thing too. Let's go. Noel. Yeah, she can fix that. If you gotta get it done, no, you need to do it better. Well, she can fix that. Yeah, she can fix that. Investment to get back, trying to get a big stack. She can fix that. Let's fix that. In this video, I'm going to share with you exactly how you can start from scratch, never even having good credit. I literally started with bad credit in bankruptcy with multiple foreclosures and still was able to borrow money to buy all of the real estate that I needed. I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that too. I'm going to share with you my step-by-step -step process for finding the best properties that are the most profitable so that you can actually build wealth. And I'm going to share with you the biggest, hugest mistake that I've made in my career that has cost me so much money. I'm going to share this with you so you do not make the same mistakes that I did. It's going to save you hundreds of thousands of dollars in years of time. So one of the things about flipping properties and investing in real estate, I started with bad credit. Like I said, I was literally in my parents' basement. I was bankrupt. We have multiple foreclosures. I learned to do it the right way, even in the worst condition. But one of the things that it showed me is that you don't need a lot of money or good credit, even when you're fixing and flipping, because I literally went from wholesaling to fixing and flipping and still did not have stellar credit. So what I realized is that you really can finance most of the things for your flip. In fact, that's probably what you should do, okay? It helps you be able to flip more properties at the same time. I literally was able to make it into a business and not just flip one home at a time when I was able to leverage other people's money and actually start getting financing on some things like flooring and getting the tiles or the carpet. A lot of those companies I realized would finance my business and lend credit to my business so that I could repair the properties, do the renovation that I needed to do in a very high quality way so that I could fix and flip that house and make a profit and then pay that debt off and still walk away with money in my pocket. So one of the crazy things that I really had to focus on was finding different vendors that had high quality stuff, but also finding vendors that also would do credit for business. So to my surprise, there actually were tons of different companies, tons of different vendors like flooring companies and tile companies and carpet layers and electricians and plumbers, all different type of vendors and larger companies that will partner with me during my flips. And again, basically lend me money to do my flips and lend me materials and labor so that I could start getting some of this stuff done and do quality rehab jobs and still make money in the process. So you don't need great personal credit when it comes to fixing and flipping. Trust me, I learned and you can do it. So one of the things that is so important when it comes to real estate investing and making money in real estate is finding some of the worst properties and transforming them into beautiful properties. So when I start real estate investing and how I really started making money is I started targeting properties that needed repairs, that needed things. You know, I realized you were not going to make a lot of money on a house that already was renovated and already had everything. You really needed to find some outdated properties that really needed some renovations and needed to be brought up to code so that you can improve the property and make it worth more money than when you got it. I really started making a lot of money with probate properties because those homes were usually lived in by older people and they were often probated or given to you know a child, an adult child that did not want that house. But the great thing with some of those old homes that people inherited that they did not want is many of them were very dated. A lot of them had green carpet and you know old appliances and just those pink tiles in the bathroom and just all those things that no one in this market would want. So it was an awesome opportunity for me to be able to go in and transform those properties, update all of the appliances, all of the fixtures, all of the lighting, especially the kitchens and the bathrooms. I realized when I was renovating bathrooms and kitchens, it brought so much value to the property that those properties were selling really fast. In many cases, I was able to sell my fix and flips before they were even completed. So what do you think the biggest challenge in our marriage has been? Uh, you got so busy, you stopped making your big Z. That's why I ain't talking about that. <laughs> no, okay. All right. Well, I mean, 
when you were, you know, going for your master's degrees and I decided I'm going to go for master's degrees and be a teacher and we were just trying to do what we thought was the right thing everybody wanted us to do. We had kids, we should, you know, have these nine to fives instead of living our dreams. I think our biggest mistake was just not going for it at the time, just wasting time trying to impress other people, trying yeah. to do that. Yeah, I think I, I agree. I, I tell people, I literally tell people like that is the biggest mistake that I feel like I have made that I took so long to become who I wanted to be. Like I followed the rules. I, oh, I don't have a college degree. Oh, I need to go back to school. Right. Okay, um, now I need to get a promotion. Oh, you can't be on YouTube. I took years even just to come on YouTube yeah. using that same fear, just never really feeling like I could go for it. I remember when I started in real estate investing, like, wasn't that weird? Like when I said I wanted it to, to, to do it again. Right, right. <laughs> like, we doing what? You're going to go real estate investing. And then I'm scared. Like, do we really know what we're doing? And then yeah, it's it started. It was a, it was yeah. a great decision. To make. It was a great decision. I think one of the best things, like I, I tell people this, was when I decided, you know, we were already bankrupt. We were already foreclosed upon. Somebody right. offers me coaching to help me learn real estate investing. And it right. costs twenty thousand yes. dollars i literally didn't even tell you do you remember i did not tell you how much it cost right i, <laughs> I just know you know you, you had to not even find out to look on like your face years later um how much i actually spent um but i felt like i i was it was gonna work out i don't know sometimes i think we have a feeling that this is something that's calling me towards it i had failed in real estate investing that's Basically, I feel like it was my fault. Right. I, you know, I felt like I had dragged us into flipping houses and 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 doing all of that stuff, and so right, right. I felt bad, honestly, too. Uh, that it a lot of, worked out. A lot of overthinking, like that, a lot of people do, and we were doing like overthinking it and not realizing you can make a mistake and still move forward. And then that feeling, you know, it, it's a feeling. You know, when something's right. And if you got the right person next to you, they'd be like, yeah, I understand. We can, we can go through it together yeah. and make it. Yeah. And I think that's made our relationship so much stronger. I think during that point, it was probably at its lowest point just because I felt guilty that we had got, I felt, I just felt responsible for the bankruptcies and the foreclosure and all of that because it was my idea to flip houses and I never really knew what I was doing. I felt like I was faking <laughs> it, but we were making money. We so were then... making money. We were making some so money. So then when we lost our jobs um, and, and, and just couldn't yeah. pay for anything, I just couldn't figure out what happened and I felt that it was my fault. I don't think you ever said it was my fault. I don't it know wasn't your fault. Uh, no, I didn't think it was your fault. Okay. I never thought what did you think? Thing. I was <laughs> I was thinking it, it's a rough time. How are we gonna get out of this? But I knew that we've always, just from the beginning, been committed to each other. We I knew we was we weren't gonna break up. I knew that much. And yeah. so um Did you always know that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I always do okay. that. I always do that. We had too many kids. <laughs> <laughs> That's a true story. <laughs> I pay for my child support. That's true. That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. I mean, what, how would you even pay me child support? <laughs> but yeah. Like, no, we might as well stay together. Right. So, overall, it's funny. I feel like our biggest mistake was that we didn't trust each other enough and we suffered and thought about things way too much. We kind of thought that it was my fault or your fault and we were afraid still. We had a lot of fear that we just did not overcome or address. And the great thing about it is I feel like that was what actually has made us successful in our marriage and in real estate investing, that we just pushed through the fear, we pushed through the struggle, right. Right. we just fought through it, and I'm glad that we did. We did. <laughs> we did. <laughs> so I, I think that's the biggest challenge, but it's also our biggest success. I think that is it's the true reason for our success. So now I get that you completely know how to start your real estate business using other people's money. So go ahead, if you want more information, you have the whole plan, but if you want a full training, I have one just for you at noellesfreetraining.com. Again, that's noelles 
freetraining.com. It's completely free. It was a little bit too long for me to put here on this YouTube or in this audio. So you can go there, get that training for free. I just wanna make sure that you have all of the resources, all of the tools and all of the knowledge that you need to be successful. This is Noelle to your success.